is next weather. All right, as we uh, check in, it was nice and clear as you saw there. Things uh, looking good for the rest of the evening. 84 right now is the current temperature in Miami. Still with the humidity, it feels like 92, but you've noticed that uh, we haven't talking, we haven't been talking so much about the heat advisories. Uh, criteria is met for like an hour or a few minutes, but not for extended periods, and that's thanks to the thunderstorms that we've been dealing with the last few days. We are still looking at temperatures that'll be a couple of degrees above average, but tolerable as we cool off with our daytime sea breeze thunderstorms. Just a few showers left over across Florida Bay, otherwise pretty quiet across South Florida, as you would expect this time of night. We'll put rain tracker into motion through with tomorrow. Quiet as can be for the morning commute, no issues. We'll have a couple of morning showers across the Keys, and then we'll transition into our inland afternoon thunderstorms. But look at the clock. Your lunchtime still looks dry, still looks good, but the clouds already by then billowing up, and then we'll start going with showers and storms between 2 and 5 o'clock. Tomorrow's start shouldn't be as early as we had it today. We were storming today at the 12 o'clock. That'll be delayed a bit for tomorrow. That means that uh, showers and storms will likely continue into the evening hours. But by 9 o'clock, what you see there is uh, just a few leftover showers. And then we'll repeat as we hit into Thursday. The pattern is about the same. A little bit of stronger wind on uh, Thursday. And that'll bring some showers and storms earlier on. And then eventually everything pushes over to the other coast. That's the steering pattern that favors storms not piling up across our area. So we'll take that and we'll still get cool with some of the thunderstorms out there as as we check on the uh, tropics here, very quiet uh, as we head into uh, August. Obviously, it doesn't stay that way climatologically. We peak September 10th. This is where we are. As of today, of course, we've already had uh, storms uh, through a Don. We had our first hurricane Don out there in the open Atlantic, and that's where we're tracking storms uh, tonight. There you see the typical areas of development. The deeper the reds, that's where the the most storms have formed uh, over the last 100 years or so. And there's the Cape Verde season uh, that we track during this time of year as those easterly waves propagate from uh, Africa. But quiet right there over what we call the main development region. In fact, the whole Atlantic Basin is relatively quiet. This little blob you see there, not much doing here. Last time we spoke, it was 30%. This thing has very little chance of developing now, and even if it did, it's going due north, heading up towards the open Atlantic, so we like that. As far as rain chances for it tomorrow, we'll go this way. About 20% coverage early on, but really the bulk of the storms will hold off until between 3 and 6 o'clock, and then between 6 and 9, we'll begin to diminish thunderstorm activity. As we check in on your uh, seven-day forecast, coverage staying at around 60% for Wednesday, and then we'll drop that to about 50%. Really no big changes here. Winds will still be out of the southeast, and then heading into the upcoming weekend for both weekend days. Temperature still in the low to mid-90s. Remember, the feels like temperature still about 105 to 110, but those afternoon storms will make a difference through the next seven days.